Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Out here, cruising around in the Toyota Tacoma, the awesome Toyota Tacoma. And I just got done, actually, making a video about the front-facing camera. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. A lot of questions people have had, so tried to do a little demonstration and show all of that off. But I wanted to talk about the Pedal Commander. Speaking of questions, you know, I get questions, comments on the channel about it, and I thought I'd answer them here again. And I've answered some before, but I find people don't watch previous videos. So we're gonna run over those a little bit now. The first one is, what is the downside of having the Pedal Commander? And that's a simple question. What? There is no downside to having the Pedal Commander. I don't know what it would possibly be. You know, I've had people ask me, well, what about warranty? Does it affect your warranty? There is a blurb on the, on the Pedal Commander site, which by the way, there's a link down below. You can click that link, find out all the other information. They're the experts on it. You can also save some money if you decide to order it by clicking that link. But anyway, warranty. You know, warranty is, is a simple thing. If you install something that affects an otherwise warranted part, then it wouldn't be covered. I don't know how the pedal commander can affect any other part because all it does is just get rid of throttle lag. It puts power to the engine when you hit the gas. It opens the throttle body. It's a lag eliminator. That's all of it, that it does. But again, if you want to know more, you want to check out all the information on that, click that link down below, go to their site and read their statements on it. They're the experts. Another question I've had is what about ECT? What if you push the ECT button? Does it make it even faster? First of all, I think there's a bit of a misconception about the ECT button. It's the electronically controlled transmission, all right? You push the button and what it does is it changes the way that the truck shifts. It does that for towing purposes primarily, hauling purposes, uphill climbing, downhill descending, all of that kind of thing. It doesn't really change anything when it comes to throttle lag. That's the pedal commander's job. Now, it is going to change the way the truck shifts, but we're really talking about two different things. So while it might feel different because it is changing the way the truck shifts, it doesn't do anything as far as throttle lag goes. It just holds the gears longer. So hopefully that kind of clears that up a little bit. I had a question just yesterday about that. Um, Finding the setting that you want to find, it's too sensitive. It's not sensitive enough. It burns more gas. It saves gas. Well, there's all kinds of settings on the Pedal Commander. You can go to a very sensitive setting. In other words, you just look at the gas pedal. I'm exaggerating. And it goes. Or you can pick something in between, which is what I prefer. I'm running on Sport 3 because that's the best one for me. It's the right sensitivity on the pedal, gives me the acceleration that I want without it being too much for me. Now, of course, that's all personal preference. I mean, you have to figure out what's right for you. If you like a very sensitive pedal that as soon as you barely touch it, you go, which is, can be kind of fun, then uh, maybe you need to go with a, a higher setting. If you want something that's just a little bit better, you go with a lower setting. If you're one of those hyper miler wannabes, there's an economy setting. You can save some gas. Just click the econo setting. They even have a, I'm looking at it as I go so that I get this right. They have a sport plus for the really daring and they have a city driving. So there's all kinds of different settings you can pick. And I suggest that when you get the pedal commander that you try them out. Find the setting that's right for you. And I will tell you, once you have the Pedal Commander in for a while, you might start to think, well, this doesn't do anything. I don't feel anything. Turn it off. Turn it off. Drive your Toyota Tacoma without the Pedal Commander on. You will know how it does, what it does. It is just that profound of a change. I think that we get used to things. You know, when you have it on for a while, you kind of get used to the way that it is, and maybe you don't realize what it's doing. Just turn it off. It's easy to do. Hit the button, click it off on your Bluetooth connectivity, 
which I love about this. This is one of my favorite things about Pedal Commander over the others, is because it does have Bluetooth connectivity on my phone. I can pull that up, have it right up here where I mount my phone for videos like this, and then when stopped, I can go ahead and select a different setting if I want to. Love that feature. Also love the, the look of the big control unit, something that I didn't think I would like before I got this, but after having others that were teeny tiny little small things, much easier if I'm not using Bluetooth to go ahead and just push the button on there. I have it mounted right down here. There'll be a picture up of it. Uh, and it's great, love it. Now, people have asked too about taking it off. It's very simple. It just plugs in right above your accelerator pedal. That's all you have to do. There's no programming, no tuning, none of that crazy stuff. You simply disconnect the little harness that's down there, very easy to do, and then plug the pedal commander unit in, in between that connection. It's just that simple. If you wanna take it off for some reason, you can. Also, maybe you don't want that controller where you can see it. Maybe you found the perfect setting for you. You can set it the way that you want, forget it, stick it under the dash somewhere, you never have to worry about it again. That's another question that I get. Do you have to reset it every time you start the truck? No, it remembers what setting you put it on. It's always gonna stay there. You don't ever have to change it if you don't want to. Now, the final thing that I wanna mention, I had this question recently, is about the manual transmission. How does it work with the manual transmission? And I'm like, oh man, you have no idea. The manual transmission in the Toyota Tacoma is horrible. Match it with the lag that's in the engine, and it's even worse. It is awesome with the manual transmission. You know, there's nothing worse than trying to go through the gears when you have a laggy throttle. I mean, you know, if you're not familiar with driving a manual, and if you are, then you know it's kind of like a dance, right? You kind of have to move your feet the right way, use the clutch the right way, give it the right gas. Well, it's hard to give it the right gas when the engine doesn't go because the throttle is laggy. I can't stress enough how good it is with the manual transmission. I think it's even better with the manual transmission. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about a few things people have asked me. Again, there is a link down below. You can save yourself some money by clicking on that link. Get yourself the Pedal Commander. You will be amazed. I'd be shocked if you weren't. Anyway, leave a comment. If you've got the Pedal Commander, let us know. What do you think about it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic manual transmission. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why wouldn't you subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.